All right, John Hickok here. Uh, today, I'm gonna use a fire puck. I've been seeing these things around. Um, I've seen Such, Double Zero. I've seen him do videos on these things. And I've always kind of been curious about them. And I thought it might be kind of cool instead of getting a bunch of them and figuring out how to use them and figuring out the best way and then showing you a video of, of at, from an expert perspective of how to use the fire puck. I thought maybe what I would do is, uh, because I'm lazy, is just get one and just see if I can just figure out how long it takes me to, to make it work. And just, I, I mean, I don't even know anything about these things. Just being honest, like I haven't even really looked at the package and read any of it. So I figured I'd do a video and just try to use it. And uh, maybe that'll tell you how easy of a product it is to use or how big of an idiot I am. And uh, probably a little bit of both. So, all right. Uh, first, uh, remind you guys, of, of course, all the help that we get from SDI. Check them out at sdi.edu. And then also Federal Cartridge Company. Um, they're a huge help, so I always gotta gotta mention that. So, all right, here we go. Let's try it. Take this off so I can do it without damaging the directions. Even though I usually don't like to look at directions because I'm lazy. All right, I only got one of these things, so okay. So there we go. All right, it's open. Let's see what it says. Remove the label. Done. Remove top cap. Well, I don't even know which one is top, but okay. We'll go with that. All right, it's interesting looking there. And it says, place fire puck in fire receptacle. What the hell is the fire receptacle? Hold securely. Use the striker strip on the cap across the start button to start the fuel. All right, I'm already getting confused. All right, that must not be... Um, is that what they're talking about? Let's see. Let me take this part off and see. Let me figure it out. All right, so this must be the top. So it's got like a little thing. I don't know if it's that. Oh, here we go. Okay. I think maybe figure it out. Ah, oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's pretty easy. I don't know if I'm supposed to burn stuff yet. But we'll go ahead and put some tinder down here. Not to be confused with the website. I think I might have screwed it up, guys. Let's see. Okay, so this stuff right here doesn't burn. We've learned that. Only this burns. So what you're supposed to do is light that and then have all your tinder ready to go. But it just so happens that I have this thing. This was going to be a separate video, but since I'm an idiot, it's just going to be part of this. Okay, so this is a strike a fire match you can find these at walmart and pretty much anywhere so we've got our little tinder over here oh, let's see. well these things aren't too stable apparently um all right kind of leaning towards i'm just an idiot right now There we go. Okay. That's hot. Fire hot. Well, I thought that was supposed to burn. <laughs> okay. Let's try something else. All right. Not exactly bare grills or anything. Pretty much a novice when it comes to this stuff. Not ashamed to admit that. But it's interesting to me. And that's the kind of stuff I like to do in my videos, is things that are interesting to me. And I like to, I'm always gonna be honest with you. That's the thing, I'm always gonna tell you if I know something, if I don't know it. So let's see if we can make this fire happen with my poor woodsman skills. And I know you guys that know what you're doing are screaming through the 
comment section right now making fun of me, but that's okay. All right. These leaves burning. Got a little something going here. All right, so, you know, pretty much got a little fire going there. And um, yeah, so the fire puck, important to remember that it's not idiot proof because I'm an idiot and I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> But no, it's pretty simple to use actually. I mean, you strike that top of it and it flares up, but you gotta have all your stuff ready to go. And I guess that's what it was talking about when it said, um, place the fire puck in fire receptacle. I'm guessing that the fire receptacle is not included. And that's what I was supposed to build and then put the fire puck down into it. And that was supposed to uh, start my fire. But yeah, so I'll remember that for next time. See if I had never tried this, and then I got stuck stranded somewhere and tried to use my fire puck and I only have one, then I wouldn't have had any fire. But you know, these things are actually kind of cool too. These little striker fire things. We can get them like where they sell charcoal and stuff like that. Um, that little stick is burning pretty good. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, and I got a little, I got a fire though now. So I can build that up as big as I want from that, from that position. So, all right. Uh, maybe you learned something and maybe you just got to feel really smart watching me act like an idiot with that thing. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll talk to you later. What do you think about that? <laughs> I just cut it, dude. Oh, man. I, dude, I just cut it. That would have been great. What's doing that? Is that the fire puck? Yeah, that's the fire puck. All right, well, you guys missed a little action there. Right, at, literally right as I ended that video, this thing just flared up and just got really big and made like a huge flame. Almost caught the GoPro on fire. I don't know if it's still good or not, but uh, we might have some cool footage there if it's still good. So, okay, so apparently there is some pretty flammable stuff in the uh, fire puck. And it just didn't catch for some reason whenever I initially uh, lit it or maybe I did do it wrong I don't know but uh, that was that was pretty intense I will say so all right there you go